It's really tiring being the only hilarious person in my life right now. I wonder if I'll ever regret putting myself on the internet like this. I'll quickly talk you through my skincare routine. I'm about to predict my own future. It's got buttons on the front, it's got pockets. I look like I'm about to do Tour de France. It's another favourite of mine. Go on then, next question. How on earth were you meant to know that? How many years ago was there? During lockdown, I thought that'd be a great thing to start. guys welcome back to another lockdown vlog today is thursday i have no idea what the date is honestly barely know what year we're in right now um but i do know it's thursday because i have a video going up tonight that's literally my only track of schedule i've got up this morning and i'm about to head down to the river because i'm actually shooting an instagram ad with this gym wear brand which i I'm obsessed with. This vlog isn't sponsored, but they're a fairly new brand called Nothing To Prove. And they sent me some of their items last week. And honestly, I am obsessed with them. I love that they wanted me to genuinely try the product before I advertise it. Yes, please. When a brand has morals like that, I'm all for it. And before anyone starts, I know I'm not a fitness guru, possibly one of the laziest girls in Essex. <laughs> but lockdown has kind of changed that. The highlight of my day is my one hour exercise. When lockdown is over, I do want to join the gym, although it does slightly terrify me. All that aside, honestly, gym wear also doubles up as great lounge wear. Comfy sports bras, stretchy leggings. I'm living in it right now. It's a bit cloudy. I'm hoping it's not gonna rain. I'm gonna go and get some cute pictures because the back of this sports bra, let me show you. How cute is that? My bedroom is a state right now. Right, let's go. Good golly, Miss Molly. After all that, we've just been out for like, 45 minutes trying to get a picture. Um, it wasn't sunny, it was absolutely freezing. There were no colorful flowers around to use in the picture, which is what I had in mind. The pictures just turned out a little bit naff. So we came home and I spotted our orchid. I've just taken some pictures in front of that, but I haven't eaten breakfast yet. It's 11 o'clock now. Bowl of crave. Teen, mum, jobs are good and Not to alarm anyone, but I'm about to predict my own future. I've just seen a TikTok where, well, technically, Netflix is gonna predict my future. So, first step, let's do it together. Here I am, signed into Netflix. First thing I've got to do is type in H, because my name starts with H. Then, you gotta click on the fourth series. Heartland, never heard of it. Next up, you have to go to episode nine. Oh God, Jesus, I hope that's not my future. Episode nine, ghost from the past, lovely. And 37 minutes in. Wow, I need to clean my laptop screen. Sorry about that. 37 minutes, and apparently the first sentence is what your future is gonna be like. There's something about jail that you like. <gasps> well then, there's something about jail that you like. I wonder what I'm gonna do. It looks like I haven't moved pretty much all day. Partly true, because I have spent most of today editing, but just been for a walk, literally the most exciting part of my day, every day. It's about half past six, and I'm about to have a Zoom call with two of my friends, Sophie and Mac. I know Sophie will be watching this, so hi, Soph. If you don't know who Sophie and Mac are, they're the friends I went to Poland with last year, so they actually live in Bath, which is very far away from Essex, but we're having a weekly Zoom chat during lockdown, and hopefully after lockdown as well. I miss having a laugh and like joking around with my friends so much that's probably the thing that i miss most about lockdown all my friends are just hilarious and i miss it it's really tiring being the only hilarious person in my life right now i want someone else to do it for a change i just wanna love you just wanna hold you just wanna be with you till we grow old good night good night what cute jammies who got you those is it you i think it was <laughs> <laughs> Night night. night, night. Night, night. Sleep, sleep tight. Bye. Look, how many years ago was this? Oh my god, that was so long ago. What your hair was. Mac has pulled his quiz out the bag. So go on then. Next question. Right. Name, name the, the brand. brand. Um. What is the brand got... that's shown on the screen? I'm not gonna lie. I think I've got this, lads. Have you? I haven't. Come on, you must know this. It's like connected to our phones. So the nearest whole number, a billion seconds, is how many years? How on earth are you meant to know that? A billion seconds? Question eight. What language do they speak in Argentina? Argentinian? <laughs> <laughs> None of the above. <laughs> Argentina? Going Portuguese. Just think of where it is. I don't know where it is. You'll, you'll know is this it? one straight away. Oh, I listened to that earlier, actually. Mm. I love a bit of Brit. 
I'm looking very tired and dishevelled now, but we've just had dinner and been out to clap for the NHS because it is Thursday and you might be able to see behind me, there's a little bit of a glow. Got a new lamp, didn't I? If any of you guys watched last week's vlog, you might have seen I was looking for a Himalayan rock salt lamp and a few of you guys recommended this website called Glow Himalayan. So I went on there and they were so affordable and it feels such nice quality. It's actual salt, so like if you rubbed it too hard or dropped it, it would like bits would come off it. But not only does it look pretty, it was super affordable. I think it was like $14.99. And then I actually paid $2.99 to have a dimmer switch because I thought that'd be really nice in the evening. But it also came with this little booklet, and in here it tells you the health benefits. So it purifies the air, it balances energies in the room, so no negative vibes, positive vibes only. I don't actually think that's what that means. I don't know, I'm not a sciencey person, but to me. It's going to help me keep positive and it also helps you sleep because the glow of the salt lamp should be really relaxing. I don't think I'm actually going to sleep with it on because I'm worried I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night and think there's a fire. But I am going to have it on in the evenings and just before I go to bed. And in case anyone's interested, this is two to three kilograms. It's quite heavy. I was surprised when it arrived, but you can see there the size of it. It's about... I'd say about 20 centimetres tall. I know some of you probably think I'm a little bit crazy for believing in crystals and the power of healing and psychics and Himalayan rock salt lamps. But honestly, I just feel like any little thing that makes you feel better, whether it actually works or not, sometimes I think it's psychological and if you feel like it's helping, it's going to help. So I think, do you know what? I want to give myself all the best chances, but I genuinely do think that crystals work. I hold my hands up and admit, when it's a full moon every single month, I will rinse my crystals, wash them, and put them in the moonlight for them to recharge. Because I just think, what's the harm in doing that? There can only be a benefit. Me again. It's now Friday. It's actually almost the evening. But my day has taken a bit of an unexpected turn because I was just watching Elle Darby's new vlog and she spoke about these online courses and she's doing a diploma in meditation, I think. And she's linked to this website. It's called centerofexcellence.com. And basically, if you use the code learn at home, all the courses are £29 and you get like actual diploma in it. So I kind of want to do one. I've just been having a look through the website and there are so many there's like all different categories massage courses criminology courses counseling animal care diet and nutrition literally there is so many i've been having a look through it and as you guys know i'm quite into the power of crystals and psychics and things like that and it's actually an entire psychics and supernaturals section so i've just been having a look through that and i think i might do a diploma in one i mean like 29 pounds that's so cheap and during lockdown I thought that'd be a great thing to start but I'm the kind of person like I will be into this for a day if I left it and didn't order one tomorrow I'd wake up and go oh, actually I can't be bothered so I'm thinking I might actually buy a course today because once I've bought it then I'll do it I'm not looking to change my life or change my career I just think it would be cool to have an extra skill it's just a little something in it Something to add to your CV. My CV is very empty. At the minute, I'm kind of thinking either palm readings, because I think that would be really cool. Like, not only can you kind of make that into a bit of a sideline thing and do palm readings, I just think it would be really cool to do that with your friends and as you're sitting around the dinner table, be like, oh, do you want me to read your palm? And tell someone about, like, their future and stuff. Or the other one that keeps catching my eye is hypnobirthing. And I know I'm only 21 and, like, the thought of me assisting a woman through her birth is literally hilarious. But when I get a bit older, I feel like that might be something I'm really interested in. I'm also very interested in babies, birth. There's also a course about postnatal depression. I find that really interesting. There's a baby massage course. But I don't know any babies to practice on. <laughs> you know, in my luck, I would do all the work. It would get to the exam. It'd be like, right, so get your baby. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave it linked in the description down below with the code, just in case you want to do something like this. Let's get the tunes on for a diploma break. I think I've decided on the palm course. I'm going to think about it. I don't want this code to run out though, it's stressing me. And money spent on knowledge is money well spent, says the girl who didn't go to uni. Hello my fine fellows. If you've been keeping up with my lockdown vlogs, you might know that last week I attempted to dye my hair pink. How did that go for you, Han? <laughs> Can confirm, it lasted two washes, possibly even one. But I thought I'd try a different hair colour. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not sure when I'm going to do this, but I wanted to have them prepared. So, 
Now I'm going to try these ones from Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf? Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. Oh my god, this girl looks like Zoe London, don't you think? Wow, shook. Congrats on your campaign, Zoe. <laughs> so these are in the shade Cool Rose. I bought two. Oh, I've just realised it says permanent. I'm not going to commit to it just yet because I possibly have a hair campaign coming up specifically for a blonde hair product. Let me know if any of you guys have tried these. Have you got any top tips of making the colour actually last and like do good things? Right, anyway, I want to show you a few things that are very kindly been gifted. I do have a misguided discount code coming up for you as well, so carry on watching if you wanted to do a little spendy spend. Oh, poorly, I oh, poorly. Why are your dresses so lovely? So the lovely team over at Opoly very kindly let me choose a dress from their website and oh my gosh. This makes me want to go on a date and I'm not a date night kind of person. <laughs> Look at the colour of this. How beautiful is that? This is the colour I want my hair to be. As you can see, it's a satin dress. It's got these thin straps and then these bits go like around your arms. It's got a cow neck front and it's also a midi dress. It hasn't got any split in it or anything. It's very classy. I definitely need to iron it. But this is the picture of it on the model. How beautiful does that look? I honestly feel like oh, poly dresses are an investment. They're such lovely quality. They are so beautiful. Whenever I see someone wearing an oh, poly dress, I immediately know it's from oh, poly. Like You can just tell. I've got this in a size 10 because I have a few other dresses from oh, poly that are also size 10. So hopefully this fits me well. So thank you very much to the team at oh, poly for that little number. She's a beauty. I honestly think this is my new favourite dress ever. It's just beautiful. I feel like it looks so classy. I love the neckline. I love the sleeve detail the color of it the length everything is perfect this would be such a good first date dress or if you're going to a wedding anything like that where you want to look a bit dressed up a bit elegant this dress is just perfect i love it it is so fab han if she's feeling dressy so moving on to misguided again these items are very kindly gifted and they have also gifted you guys a little discount code so if you use the code hannah10 at checkout you will get 10% off your order i'm gonna do this as a little try on as i go first up i picked out quite a few little basic tops because i feel like basic little tops and joggers are just such a vibe at the minute and to be honest that'll probably be my vibe for the entire summer it's just so easy and comfortable isn't it so the first one that i chose was this little white top i love this it's cropped but it's not too short which i absolutely love super easy to wear and it's not see-through Woo! and then i also got the same top in black i feel like this one it's a little bit different though the shape is a bit different it's not quite as long the neck comes down a little bit further but i still really like it again with just a basic pair of joggers job done so this one wasn't my favorite when i looked in the mirror just now but looking in the viewfinder i actually do really like it i thought this bit looked a bit odd because obviously this bit is elasticated and then you can tie it as much as you want you can have it cropped so you can have it a bit longer I feel like I could have got a size smaller. I got this in a size 10. I think this next one is going to be an at-home top because I got this in a size 10. Didn't realise it would be like an oversized fit and I just feel like it would suit me more if it was a bit more fitted. Excuse my foot in the mirror. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's just quite baggy. It's quite loose. I don't hate it, but I think I would prefer it if it fitted more like that. We've got jeans! So these are a pair of mum jeans. As you can see, they're a really nice baggy fit. So these are a size 10 regular. I really like the length of them. I would always personally roll mum jeans up at the end. But if you don't roll yours up, these are the length of the regulars. The only thing is, I do kind of wish I got an 8 regular. Just because the waist is quite baggy. But I do often find that with mum jeans. I really like the baggier leg, so I have to go for the bigger size. But to be honest, I would never wear mum jeans without a belt anyway. The next item is by far my favourite. She said, I'm a nude blazer, but I'm faux leather. I'm oversized. I'm cool. I'm cash. I've actually posted a picture of this on my Instagram already. I actually put it with the first white top, this one, because I feel like the neckline looks better with the blazer than this one does. And I also put with it this little bag, which is from Misguided. Here's a little close-up of the bag. I love this opening. So you twist this bit round and it fits into the gaps. I find that very satisfying. <laughs> this is the picture that I posted. Um, who is she? 
Like this is the style that I want to dress in all the time. I just get sidetracked by comfy clothing far too often. I was a little bit worried when I chose this, I'm not gonna lie, because a lot of times I've ordered faux leather items from online sites. I don't think it's ever been misguided though, but sometimes when they arrive, they're like a little bit shiny. They can feel quite cheap and they're noisy. This is none of the above. I honestly think if this was sold in somewhere like Zara, it would be so much more expensive. I am thoroughly, hand on my heart, genuinely so impressed with the quality of this. It's got buttons on the front, it's got pockets. Love that for me. Let's talk cardigans. Da da, da da, da 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 da. Longest cardigan I've ever owned and I love it. So obviously it's like this brownie beige colour. It's also got a little belt around it so you can tie it up if you want to. I think it's something that like Billy Fairs would wear and I love Billy's style. I can't wait to be strutting down on my daily walk with my cardigan flowing in the breeze. I'm loving the neutrals vibes right now. This one is very out of my comfort zone so don't laugh if you hate it. I look like I'm about to do Tour de France. Is she a cyclist or is she Kim Possible? Do you know what all jokes aside I actually quite like it excuse the fact that my legs are not fake tanned I definitely thought I was gonna love this dress more than I do I can imagine this suiting some girls so well I just don't think it suits me obviously it's denim it's got little puff sleeves which I'm usually a massive fan of I feel like these sleeves are making me look a little bit like a doll how do girls pull off these massive sleeves because I have dreams of pulling them off let's talk about gym wear I am living in gym wear at the minute because I'm not a gym goer but it's so comfortable. So next up is this little gym set, this purple set. Love this. Obviously the bottom of the leggings are like ombre. And there's just something about long sleeve gym tops that I love. This is a really nice stretchy material as well. It's quite thin, so I feel like it'd be nice and cool. And the final item is another favourite of mine. So this brown, it's got a bit of an orangey tint to it. This midi dress is just beautiful. Is it midi or mid axi? It comes to like halfway down my shins, as you can see in the mirror there. It's nice and fitted. It's got this zip detail at the front. It was so comfortable. Comfortable, so nice and stretchy. I think this dress, the faux leather blazer, and the white top with the racer neckline are my three favourite items. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favourite item. And don't forget, guys, if you are going to order anything from Misguided, use the code HANNAH10 to get 10% off. So thank you very much to the team. I am always incredibly grateful. And a girl could never have too many clothes. It's a life motto I stick by. Sometimes I sit and think to myself, I wonder if I'll ever regret putting myself on the internet like this. But I'm here to live in the present sunshine. I don't want to think about the future. But anyway, I have just had a lovely bubble bath. I've watched Maddie Bruce's Say It or Shot It video. Absolutely love that girl. She's hilarious. Put a face mask on obviously. This is the face mask that I went for tonight. It's from Glossier. This is the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack. I don't actually know what it's meant to do for your skin, but it's a detoxifying face mask. Anyway, I'm going to quickly take this off because it is pretty much dry now, and then I thought I would quickly talk you through my skincare routine for the evening, because I am loving my skincare routine. I feel like I've nailed it. Like, absolute top tier, easy skincare. Okay, I'm back. I've put my dressing gown on. Apparently, some people call a dressing gown a house coat. <laughs> Sorry, what? The first thing I'm gonna do is use the Body Shop's Vitamin E Cream Cleanser. I would usually use this to get the rest of my makeup off, but after I've used a face mask, to be honest, I use it because it's a habit and I love it. So I'm just gonna cleanse for not much reason. Glossier Solution. This is a chemical exfoliator, so it feels like water on your skin, but it actually helps to exfoliate all your dead skin away. It keeps your skin feeling fresh. It's basically the combination of chemicals in it that help your skin, and it may be break out at first. A lot of people say that. You've just got to ride it through because it is getting all of the dirt out of your face. Once I've let that do its thing for a minute or so, I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover Good In Bed Hydrating Serum. I love the way this makes my skin feel. This feels like it puts moisture back into my skin. Next up, a little bit of eye cream. Glossier's Bubble Wrap. Love this stuff. And then the final step, moisturiser. So, this is one of my faves. This is the Body Shop's Vitamin E Moisture Cream. And the reason I'm going to use this tonight is because I'm also going to put in some of the Isle of Paradise self-tanning drops. I tend to take about this much and I put it on the back of my hand. So about that much is perfect. And then the more drops of the self-tanner you put in, the darker it is. So I tend to put in about this much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And then I mix it together on the back of my hand and then whack it on my boat race. These tanning drops are so good. You've got to remember to put it down your neck as well. Otherwise your face will be darker than your neck. This is what I do between fake tanning. I tend to fake tan once a week, I would say. I think I tanned on Monday night and it's now Friday. So now I need a little pick me up and then I'll tan again probably Sunday or Monday. People often say, how can you be bothered to do that? But honestly, fake tanning only takes me about 15 minutes once a week. Like that's not a lot of effort. And that my friends is the end of this skincare routine and the end of this vlog i hope you're all keeping safe and keeping well let me know in the comments down below what have you been doing to keep yourself occupied this week if you're new around here make sure you press the subscribe button stick around join the fam but anyway thanks for watching have a lovely sunday or a lovely week if you're watching this late tuck tuck <laughs> and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya